What is up you guys? I'm actually not wearing my Iron Man helmet for the intro of a video for a change. <laughs> But I have a lot of things to update you guys on. It feels to me at least, I don't know if it does to you, like it's been a little bit minute when I since I've focused on Iron Man the whole body himself. So let me catch you guys up. Oh, here he is. Um, the reason I haven't filmed, you know, every stinking detail, uh, this week basically has been dedicated to the left arm, and that's completely done. Well, printed wise it's not molded together in any sort of way uh start on the hand there too just into the fingers and the right thigh oh my goodness holy crap that <laughs> it's huge first of all it's giant this thing <laughs> it's as tall as the abs really just so you guys know if you ever wonder how much a roll of filament lasts you that much that hold th these two parts together Gonna weld them in a bit. Um, that's basically a whole roll of filament. Actually might be a slightly more. The other thing that I wanna mention that was curious to me, I actually ran out of my filament that I normally use about right there, you can see that line. And you guys can see the quality difference. This all, both of it is PLA plus black, both brands. But there's a difference of brand, same temperatures, everything. A serious difference. Um, so if you ever got ex experienced this kind of stuff, um, I'd be questioning what kind of filament you're using. Uh, I'm going to tweak, maybe the temperature is too high, maybe it's too low, we'll see, but that's just, uh, guys, so you know how important it is to have quality filament. I have in the link description below, Amazon Basics, it's not PLA Plus, that's what I would go to for literally any normal print. Um, but if you have any other issues and you want to do PLA Plus, uh, join our Discord down below, actually. It's been very helpful uh, to me personally and uh, others as well. So um, that kind of stuff is, can happen when you have poor quality filament. Now, uh, the other thing I finished is a Tony Stark arc reactor. Actually, right here, I have... Uh, this is new files, updates released by Duo3D. Also, link in the description. And I got a little discount code for you guys, 20% off, so check it out. But um, that's for the... Uh, to keep the electronics casing i guess right and uh this is you know uh, that's the back side of it it came out, came out a little bit bad but um there's there it is from the top it looks good i'm gonna try to do a resin mold probably because you want it see through right here um i'm gonna test it out actually with uh transparent pla curious what kind of result i'll get after sanding i know it won't be totally transparent but we'll see but yeah it uh it came out pretty well so there you go guys that's the update on the iron man suit for the most part the upper half is completely done and we're starting on the lower half as we speak what i'm actually starting to work on it's being printed these are going to be uh mounts for the harness system because i want to get everything connected together and um these i'm, I'm really hopeful they'll work I'm going to have a separate video just to talk about the harness system because there's just very little to no resources about it. Um, it's all kind of experimental. If you're wondering how my experiments are going, there you go. <laughs> Those are my experiments. I have tried. I'm, I'm not dumb, okay? I didn't do duct tape for a permanent solution. I just try to get the mount points and stuff and use, okay, nylon strapping, duct tape, and PLA plastic. This just doesn't work well. That didn't work. Scrap that project. Um... So then I tried uh, flexible, this kind of webbing thing, and, uh, you know, this industrial grade, so they say, adhesive. And, um, no, <laughs> that doesn't work. It doesn't stick to the uh, prints. It falls after a while. It was very hopeful about it. This, this Velcro would work, but it does not. So I'm going to have a whole video dedicating of what does not work. Uh, things I learned from what does not work, and hopefully what does work. So that's going to be coming up, and um, yeah, there we go. That's our update on the Iron Man himself. Just the legs left. We have a little piece right here left. The back is actually completely done. You can't really see it, that side right there. Um, that took a whole week, too. Didn't really detail much about that, but I'll show that better in videos when it's hanging up. And I'll show you guys, bam, this uh, armor stand and how I made it work. 
Um, it's a little bit oversized, got to trim it tonight. Um, but I didn't want to trim it until I got the suit harnessed together, hang on it to know what's too big. I'm whole video separate just for that because, again, there are no resources to uh, talk about that. And um, I've learned some things, and there's some things I might tweak to the uh, design. So, yeah, there you guys go. This is the uh, whole suit. Only electronics are the lights. It looks pretty freaking awesome. And uh, there you go, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.